Yo, what's going on YouTube? It is your boy GCTV, and we are back with another video, and we are here to make some predictions um, on what Travis Scott's album Utopia is going to bring us, because it is coming out in three days, a little over three days, maybe even less than three days, I'm not really sure what the exact hour to minute, whatever the fuck, but we have... Um, four separate categories we are going to talk about. So I'm going to first give like my basic predictions, like my expectations, like what's going to be included, all that sort of stuff. I didn't really think this video out too much. I'm kind of just going on off the top of the dome and like giving you guys things that pop in my head. Like, yeah, like who's going to be and also, you know, sorry, I'm kind of bouncing around here. Um, but the second section is going to be the features, like who I think is possibly going to be on the album, and even like who I think isn't going to be on the album. The next section is going to be production, like who I think, who do I think the main production is going to be, like maybe like what its influences are going to be and that stuff. And then at the end, we're going to talk about like, are there going to be like, is this going to be a conceptual album? What What is this world going to set up to be? So yeah, let's get into it. So getting kind of into like the basic predictions slash expectations of the album, I'm not really expecting this album off rip to surpass Rodeo, but I think it'll be his second or third best, you know, depending if it's better than like an Astro World, you know. I definitely think it's going to be up there in his discography and it's going to be a highly renowned album when it comes to Travis Scott. Um, and I don't think there's a way possibly like up to this point, at least that this album won't be album of the year. Like, yeah, we've gotten albums from Uzi. I think the Yachty album was great. I liked Yeet's album quite a bit, but this album is so grand. The stage is so grand set for this album that I can't possibly see a world where this isn't, this is an album of the year. Um, you know, if people don't like it at first, I feel like it's going to grow on them. It might have that WLR effect, which is kind of funny that that's even a term now. Um, and yeah, with how with how grand that Pyramids event is, I feel like this is going to be an album for the ages. I feel like it's going to be iconic. I feel like it's going to hold up its name for so, sorry, so many years, you know. Um, and I think in terms of like what the album's gonna be about, um, I know that's kind of in the concepts, but I think he'll completely contradict, like, the uto the idea of a utopia, and have some very dark songs on here, we've already heard, like, Lost Forever, with West Side Gun and James Blake, and we'll get into who I think is going to feature on the album, it's gonna have a very, like, contradictory nature, there might even be two sides of the album, like, one is a utopia, and one is a dystopia, uh, and I feel like the dystopia, if anything, is gonna be, like, the second half of the album, I don't know, I'm kind of just throwing ideas, I'm kind of just throwing concepts out there, but, yeah, um, and we saw, we saw the first album cover, and I feel like those will say a lot, like, every day, I feel like a little detail of a possible thing that's gonna be on the album is gonna be revealed, um, and yeah, the one today was like a guy like with white eye contacts with like a ripped shirt. I'll show it when we get to like the concepts, but like a ripped shirt. He's got like money in his hand of different currencies. And it's, it's a very interesting album cover. And I feel like this album's also going to be very obscure, very like ominous, if you will. It's going to have a very weird sound for Travis Scott. I definitely think he's going to go in an experimental direction and I feel like he's going to have to enlist certain artists for that. So with that, let's get into the features. So for who I think the features are going to be, one main thing, one elephant in the room is Kanye West because, you know, he's been teased on a lot of the tracks coming up leading into this album, but I feel like a lot of those tracks were kind of like put out into the world a little bit and leaked, you know, went like before he started experiencing all this controversy. But I think, I truly think he's going to be on this album. I don't think Travis is going to switch on him. I mean, obviously like five years ago or so in Astroworld, he kind of dissed him on Stop Trying to Be God. But I think Kanye West is going to be on this album at least once. And I'm going to be honest, I will be pretty disappointed if that doesn't happen. I'll be pretty much like as disappointed as Playboy Cardi not being on the pink tape. Um... You know, I feel like guys like James Blake and The Weeknd will be on here one to two times. We obviously already have The Weeknd on the single, and we have James Blake on Lost Forever. But besides that, I think they could be on here another time. Um, I, I think maybe like a lyrical artist. 
like most def or Andre three stacks will be on here at least once. He's going to have all sorts of different features. I don't think he's just going to stick to like the trap lane and all that stuff. And he didn't really do that on Astroworld, which Astroworld is the album we're kind of like looking on as guidance to predict this album. But I think like a most def or an Andre three stacks or like a, I don't know, like a killer mic or an LP or someone like that. Some, some random lyrical rapper. It's going to be hard to really, it's really hard to predict the features on here because we're not even really sure what the direction the album is going in. Um, I think Future will be on here at least once. That is a definite. Um, I think 21 Savage is a pretty big possibility to be on this album. Um, and I, people will talk about like Drake and stuff. And yeah, Drake has an album coming out here in a, very soon. But I don't think that's going to happen because Sicko Mode was such a big song and it was... It was all over the place. I feel like it is a one-time thing. That's like the big collaboration between those two. And I think it should stay like that. I, I think that's what it should be. I don't know if Travis is thinking the same thing. But yeah. Um, I think maybe like a surprise appearance. Some like ra uh, more. I, again, like I said, there's going to be some random artists. Like Kendrick Lamar could be on this album. Lil Wayne could be on this album. We could get like um, posthumous XXX Tentacion. You know, the, the possibilities are endless. And Travis is really, like, not really put that out there, but he's kind of, like, hinted at the possibilities of being endless with how, like, again, obscure this rollout has been. I, I think we need some more melody, guys. You know, we kind of got, like, Frank Ocean last time, but I think maybe a guy like Daniel Caesar or, hell, even, like, Steve Lacey being on this album would be pretty cool. Um, I, I would hope that a guy like Tyler, the Creator, would be on here, but I highly doubt it. I think Tyler, the Creator, and Travis should definitely work together at least once. Um, I don't think, and, and two artists I don't think will be on the album is Playboy Cardi and Lil Uzi Vert, because obviously Travis Scott already kind of collabed with Uzi on the pink tape, and Cardi is just so fucking hesitant on dropping music, it's not even funny. So I doubt, I doubt it. I doubt we'll get either of those artists on here. Um, I think Quavo and Offset is a definite. I think those two will at least be on the album once. Maybe there's different sections of the album for genres. I'm sorry about my fucking dog barking and being annoying. Um, and if the album is a bit more experimental than Astroworld, I feel like hardly any of the things I just said will apply. You know, we might not even get any of the Migos members on here. We might we might get a posthumous takeoff. I mean, that would be kind of cool. I don't really have anything else. I don't really have any other possibilities for who could be on this album. Let's move on to the next section. So production-wise, we know that Mike Dean is pretty much mixing the album in its entirety. Obviously, Travis Scott's going to be helping with that engineering process a little bit, but it's mostly been Mike Dean. Uh, I would love to see Kanye West produce at least one of the tracks on here. I think that would be great, given that he might even be on the album himself. Um, and I think I've overheard that he might have produced this album a decent amount by himself, which I actually really respect, but I'm just kind of naming other producers. Um, we definitely need Metro Boomin on here at least once, maybe even helping Travis Scott produce a song. I think that would be cool. Um, I think maybe Murda Beats would be on this album. That's a guy that Travis Scott has worked with a lot in his career. Chase B, I think he's a producer. I think Chase B will be on this project. Maybe even executive producing it, you never know. Um, besides the K-pop track, we obviously know like B Benny X produced that, but I think Benny X would be cool. I think he's kind of perfect for this world that Travis Scott is trying to create. Um, Tame Impala and Thundercat should come back for sure. I think that would be really cool. I'm not really sure who else I could say. I mean, again, like I said, Travis is producing a lot of it. Um, we might hear some sample, some crazy samples from like the Beatles or something, given that he was like on Abbey Road for the album promotion. You never know. We could get some crazy, obviously there's going to be a lot of Houston influence somewhere in there. He's got to stay true to his roots. We might get some like Pimp C shit. We might get some like DJ Screw samples like we did on R.I.P. Screw. But yeah, that's all I have for the production. In terms of concepts, this is going to be a pretty short section. I think there will be some sort of concept to the album. Um, I'm not I'm not sure if it'll be consistent throughout the record. Travis Scott isn't necessarily like a conceptual rapper in a way. He does create like these atmospheres and I definitely appreciate him for it. But he's not like a Kendrick Lamar where he could tell a story throughout the album. I don't think that's going to happen. 
he's he's very good at world creating you know creating the world of utopia is going to be very interesting we've kind of seen it unfold with like the slight rollout obviously this rollout in my opinion i've said it on twitter before has been pretty shitty but the world of utopia could possibly it could be amazing i don't know um you kind of seen the k-pop vid maybe some like aesthetics maybe some looks from the utopia world and it'd be interesting like when he goes on tour to kind of like on the stadium tours to see like the set design and all that stuff that's going to be cool you know he, he has creative control over a lot of that stuff um so in the f film releasing on friday i think the world would be expanded i think this is perfect for travis to make a movie because he hasn't really teased the album, he hasn't really talked about it that much on social media, so I think, you know, making this movie, the short film, as well as an A24 film, those are two separate things, I think that's a really good idea, because, yeah, he's he's gonna really set, like, create a world that's, that's gonna live on for quite some time, so yeah, that's all I have to really say for my predictions, let me know in the comments what you guys think, as always, it has been GZTV, covering the biggest music releases, obviously, there's a lot of big music coming out, I mean, Trippy Red's coming out with an album next week, Quavo's coming out with an album next week, I think even Offset might be dropping an album this Friday, we're still getting Drake, we're still getting guys like Playboy Cardi and Ken Carson and possibly Yeet, yeah, this year's going to be crazy. You guys don't want to miss it. Click the noti bell. Make sure you sub. I'm appreciating all the support lately, by the way. You guys are going crazy. Peace out.